let me adjust this really quick what up internet fam today is monday so happy monday i'm currently inside my guest room i really like this room this room makes me happy because it reminds me of the time when arnold and i just moved in to this house i'm acting like that was so long ago that was legitimately just a few months ago but it does it reminds me of the first few months because if you guys remember we were sleeping here for the first few months because we didn't have a bed upstairs so we were here so this was a room for the first few months but um yeah so i just kind of wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about a few things i'm sure you can tell that something is different especially if you watch me on a daily basis but i got my lips done ah! here's a close-up of the lips as you guys can see there's a bump right there again it's only been two days, so it hasn't quite settled yet. So, of course, it's gonna be a bump. If you follow me on Snapchat, then this is old news to you. This is not new <laughs> news. When I got my lips done, which was about two days ago, I told you on Snapchat that I was gonna get my lips done. And yeah. I got my lips done for the first time but I know a lot of you don't follow me on snapchat so I wanted to make this video and also um, I did say on snapchat that I was going to vlog the entire process because again I've never gotten my lips done and I wanted to share with you guys my experience and how I feel about it and why I got it done and just questions that you guys have been asking me I want to to basically answer honestly i don't even know where to begin with this video i've never done a video like this i'm like Bleh, where do i begin so i guess i'll start off with the main question that you guys have been asking me why i decided to get my lips done why i decided to get lip injections and honestly personally i don't think it's necessary for anyone to have a reason why they want to do something. If you want to get your nose done, your lips done, breast augmentation, and your only reason is because you want to, then that's okay. If you have a reason, great. If you don't have a reason, that's okay too. For me, I got them done because I wanted to. That's my reason and that's good enough for me. My friend Polly and I, you guys know who Polly is. We've been talking about getting our lips done since last year and we finally did it and we're so happy. Polly actually got his lips done before me. So the day before I got my lips done, he went in. Coming in, I knew exactly what I was getting myself into. I knew that it would most likely slightly change my appearance and also if i didn't like it then that's okay it's temporary it goes away um but if i do like it i'll probably get it again so that's really it i don't know i've just always believed in if if you want to do something do it as long as you're not hurting anyone it's not damaging anything or anyone then do it 100 percent as long as it makes you happy and that's just that's just my take on it that's just my opinion on it obviously everyone has their own opinions especially when it comes to things like this but you know well, that's just my opinion don't come for me i'm trying to see what other questions you guys had for me i think it's pretty much it um that was the main question 99 percent of you guys have been so supportive and so amazing so i appreciate that so much but for the one percent who was I guess concerned for my well-being I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on inside this brain of mine because it's really not an issue it's not a big deal to me it's not a big deal it's not a big deal to Arnold it's not a big deal to my family my mom has seen my lips she is absolutely 100% on board with it the fur babies are okay with it <laughs> oh my gosh Barry you were so cute oh the process some of you guys were asking me um, if it was painful, it actually, it wasn't painful for me because they put numbing cream all over my lips, so I couldn't really feel anything. How was it? It wasn't so no, bad, not right? At all. Yeah, it and was... we actually only numbed her for like five minutes. Yeah. I guess the main thing that really scared me was the next day. The next day, they looked so massive and I got so scared, but I, I just had to keep reminding myself that they were still swollen. They're still, again, they're still a little swollen right now. So the swelling is going to die down a little bit more, but overall, I'm really happy with my decision. I'm really happy with the entire process. Dr. Tess, she was the one who did the entire thing for me. She is absolutely amazing i just love being around her she has 
such good vibes. I love hanging out with people who just have positive energy, who just, I don't know, She it feels like she's a relative, like she's my sister, my cousin. That's how close I feel to her already, if that makes any sense. That's not that sounded so creepy. If any of you guys want to check her out, she doesn't just do lips. She does a ton of things. She's also a dermatologist. She, let me actually pull up her website. She also treats acne. So if you guys are going through acne problems, um, she, she can take care of that. Let me go to her website really quick. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. She knows I vlogged the entire lips process, but that's it. She has no idea I'm sharing with you guys her her website and all of that. Uh, let's see, okay. So yeah, she does acne, acne scars, anti-aging. She does things for the body. She also does hair removals, tattoo removals, stretch marks. This is just some of the many, many things that she does. So if you guys wanna check her out, I'm gonna leave her website down in the description box below. She has a place in San Diego, Beverly Hills, and Glendale. So if you guys are around those area, I highly, highly recommend her. I promise you guys, you will absolutely fall in love with her. She is so incredible. We're actually thinking of visiting her in San Diego very, very soon, so I'm excited about that. And her daughter watches my videos, which just, just makes me so happy. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Also, I removed my choker because <laughs> it was getting uncomfortable. I also wanted to thank you guys so much for just being so open-minded about this entire, you know, lips process. I've been reading you guys' comments on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and you guys have just been so supportive throughout the entire thing. You guys have been so kind about it. I've seen other people talk about stuff like this, whether they're a celebrity or a YouTuber. Um, I've seen them post about it, and there's just so much negativity and mean comments. So I really, really appreciate that you guys have been so open-minded and so positive. Also, please keep in mind that this is not my way of telling you guys to go out there and get stuff done, get your lips done. <laughs> That's not the case whatsoever. I just really wanted to share with you guys my genuine experience and also share with you guys Dr. Tessa's information because I truly believe in her. I just have so much respect for people who are so passionate about what they do and so genuine and so humble. And that's it. There's no other reason behind it I just wanted to share with you guys my experience but yeah so that's that's pretty much it for this video again thank you so much for watching be sure to come back in a few days for a brand new video I'm definitely gonna have a new vlog in a few days so be sure to come back for that and that's it you guys I love you so much and I will see you soon Ooh, I actually have to hold you because you're on top of a weird looking box right now and you guys are gonna fall any second now, so. Good morning! Good morning, guys! Ten years! Ten years! Whoa! Whoa! Ten years! 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 I asked her ten years ago to.